Hey Aries, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for all your support lately. You guys have been amazing and I love you. And um, I only have Mercury in the first house. It's my only Aries placement, but that is a big one because that means I communicate Aries-ish. And um, I do, I don't have a lot of Aries in my life, but the ones that I do are like some, are like my really close people. Like one of my best friends um, is an Aries that I've been friends with forever. So anyways, um, thank you guys for your support. These cards keep flipping up when I'm not ready, but regret just popped up and pause. So let's see what is going on with Aries for mid-October going into November, okay? Halloween. Let's see. I feel like you guys are probably really into Halloween, or a lot of you, because you like like edgy kind of stuff with that Mars. We've got Bound, so some of you are dealing with the Capricorn. That's, I, I don't know why I, I say that immediately, but I mean the devil energy, which is Capricorn, but also could be some addictions, it could be some codependency, it could be some ties that you just can't seem to break, okay? Sorry about that. We've got divine timing, inner child, and action. I feel like inner child can be a very Aries energy, because it's like, you guys are kind of like the children of the zodiac, you're the first sign, you're um, very childlike in some ways, like you know how to have fun, you're very spontaneous, but maybe some of you have lost that with these like things that you're tied to these chains so I do feel like getting in touch with your inner child is really important and taking action like you do and um knowing that divine timing is always at play here okay um if things haven't happened the way you wanted them to just have try to have patience I know that's not the easiest for Aries I've got destruction okay so something might have had to get destroyed or okay so we've got destruction we've got tribe okay some of you guys might have had like a falling out with like people around you. I got pause again. Yeah. So there's like this need of balance between taking action, but also knowing when to like take a breather and to like not take action. Okay. Because things could actually end up destroying if you don't wait for divine timing. So there is a need to be patient. I'm going to start with the tarot of the old path and see what messages I got for you guys. Okay. And the tarot here. Page of Swords, okay. So this is a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. Somebody could be delivering some information or trying to get some information, okay? But it's page is like a, a messenger. So it could be someone that's getting information and sharing it. So be careful what you're putting out there, if it's like social media or whatever. But yeah, I do feel like you have some curious cats around you. Eight of Pentacles, I feel like whatever you've been working on, you are going to start displaying and shining for it it's all a matter of timing like i said and justice reversed so it could be dealing with a libra here that you had a falling out with that could have been the destruction or it could be that you are feeling like something is very unjust or karma hasn't you know re balanced itself out but i do feel like in divine timing it will and the empress reverse okay definitely feel like you guys had a falling out with a libra that's an empress energy um Empress could also be Taurus. It's Venus ruled. Definitely feel like you guys had some sort of fallout with a Libra or an air sign, <clears throat> or there is an air sign in your life that's not being so, um, you know, genuine or whatever. So I'm gonna pull some signs from Spirit and see what other messages I got here from an Oracle deck. Key unlock, okay. What's that about? Gray, depressed, detached, unemotional, blue, serenity, tranquility, and peace. And swan, loyalty, okay. So I feel like maybe you guys were very loyal to someone and they disappointed you and now you're kind of like detached. But I feel like um, surrounding yourself with like blues, like deep colors to get you in touch with your emotions is kind of what you need. Um, to find peace it also could be maybe going to an ocean a river some body of water to really reflect and get in touch with your emotions what is this key about spider weave okay 
this is also I feel like someone weaving a web with that page of swords so I just want you guys to be careful of like who you're surrounded by okay um I still don't know what the unlock is about there is unseen and transition okay and evolving there is I feel like um something like hidden that you need to discover like about yourself or about a situation but that's going to be the key I feel like to your joy and to your transition and your spiritual evolution okay so there's some part of you that's maybe like dormant that you need to uncover I feel like and I feel like a part of it is your emotions because I feel like you got depressed attached and unemotional here like you shut down from disappointment from someone is the feeling I'm getting got the empress again um i feel like some of you also might be trying to get pregnant or um lost a pregnancy with the empress reverse like lost a baby i know that's pretty intense but also this is telling me that you are a divine feminine and you're on a spiritual path okay with that um evolving and divine feminine empress is the divine feminine card high priestess is here okay so this is telling me you have to get in touch like I said, in, into your like inner reservoir of emotions and like what you intuitively feel about a situation. This is also very interesting because if you look, it's another inner child. This is actually such a cute card. I never realized it. I love it. So it's like looking in the mirror and remembering who you are, okay? I feel like along the way you lost a part of yourself and that could be the Empress Reverse. And this is you guys, how cute. And it's like a little Alice like, getting excited and having fun and being an inner child i just i love this i'm getting emotional actually it's so beautiful so um finding your inner child is really really important and i feel like that's going to be what changes the game for you with this wheel of fortune you're going to get in touch with your fate you're going to start taking action you're going to start moving the wheel's going to start turning i feel like maybe some of you have been chasing this white rabbit or chasing something that's kind of like evading you five of swords reverse this is another page of swords energy to me of someone that's kind of selfish and petty and like out for themselves okay so just make sure you're aware of that energy i'm going to pull from the uh, twin flame shadows and see what the shadows of the person that you're dealing with okay what's preventing them in this connection walking away i've never seen this one i feel like they walked away from you, okay? This Libra, this air sign. But I feel like they regret it because that regret card came in the beginning. Self-indulgent. That's what I was telling you guys. This person's very selfish. And I feel like they were trying to protect themselves. But it kind of bit them in the butt, okay? And they're doing a lot of things that are self-indulgent, ruthless, okay? So they just didn't care about your emotions and um, one-sided. They just only cared about themselves. That's the feeling I'm getting. A very message, a very clear message, okay? So, Twin Flame value messages too. What would they like to say to you if they could talk to you and from their higher self? Not from their ego, not from this, like, selfish, I'm sorry I held myself back with you. I feel too much pressure right now. So, I feel like they kind of cowardly left because they felt like they couldn't take on what they need. I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. They're haunted by their decision, I feel like, to walk away, okay? Um, I feel like they were very ruthless with this, but they're they're experiencing their karma now. And justice reverse is kind of like bad karma too. So um, also with this bound, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I also feel like they're bound to you by the karma that they created with you, okay? So Aries, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.